At Charles in the West Village, New York, they've got a buzzing bar scene. I'm Divya Gugnani, and sometimes I'm in the mood for wine, and other times I'm craving a cocktail. But at Charles, they've got something that bridges both my desires. So let's go behind the burner and meet the mixologist. So I'm here with mixologist Pete Harrison. Pete, today's all about bourbon. What are we making? We are making the Horatio, which is one of our more popular uh drinks behind the bar and certainly over the bar. Uh, it's a really, really simple one to make. It looks and tastes sexy, uh, but it's, again, a fun one to make. Uh, we basically start uh, with bourbon. I use a small batch of Michter's bourbon, which is uh, obviously Kentucky bourbon. It's from corn. Uh, and it's really, really sweet. Uh, it's I like sweet. In, yeah, <laughs> it's aged in a, like a white American oak barrel, so it's got a little bit of a amber tone to it. It's a little bit darker than some of your bourbons, but it's really, really crisp. What we do here is we fill our shaker with ice. Get you up there. Uh, and then where it's equal parts bourbon, simple syrup, which of course is sugar and water, yep. uh, and then and fresh squeezed lemon juice. Uh, so we'll do a quick four count of the bourbon. One, two, three, four. I'll top you off here as well. One, two, One, two three, three, four. four. Uh, that is basically like an ounce, so you're kind of doing like three-fourths of an ounce or an ounce together. Then you pour in the simple syrup. Half for you, half for me? Uh, you can do the whole thing in there. The simple syrup is definitely the key to this cocktail. I'll explain why in just a second. Uh -huh. And then toss the whole uh, lemon juice in there, and then I'll top mine off. Uh, okay. Here. He and had to then, go professional on me. Yeah, I'm like sitting there pouring in the glass and he starts pouring the bottle, but that's bit. okay. I don't mind being showed up. <laughs> so we grab the shaker. Yes. Toss it in. Mm -hmm. And then we do our 20 shakes to get the uh, the optimal temperature above our hands. Right. Flex some of the biceps, if you will. You're spilling on me. Oh, see? <laughs> That's why we do it behind. So He's spilling on me, but it's okay. He's allowed. Okay, All right, so then we get the, uh, the strainer. Yes, sir. And then we strain it into the, we'll go first. I'm going to strain mine. Yeah, over a nice, or just strain it over the ice? Strain it over the ice. Okay. Good. Fresh ice is better. Look at that beautiful cleaner. color. It's like golden brown. Don't go to the top. Just leave. That's good right there. Don't and I'll just top mine off. Cheers. And you well. do it your special way, which I is without a strainer, very easy way to do it. Now the fun part, the part that's going to make you look like you're a total whiz behind the bar, even though it's all smoky mirrors, <laughs> is uh, we basically float the red wine. Now you're going to take a bar spoon I have here. You can kind of use any teaspoon or whatever else. Uh, and then I'll do it first, then you can do it. So you basically strain right into the cocktail. And then the sugar allows the red wine to float on top, so you get a really nice, crisp line of the red That's wine. That's beautiful. Wow. What now a nice using, thing uh, to do at home to make a cocktail look super sexy. And it's so easy. How easy was that? But I, I basically easy. use, uh, right now I'm using a uh, Grenache Cabernet blend. Uh, I don't necessarily recommend any one as opposed to any other, but I usually go for Old World. Uh, it's a little bit more earthy. It's not going to drown out the sweetness of the bourbon. Uh, so basically, any kind of Mediterranean wine is a really good choice. But this was a uh, Angola. It's a uh, Spanish wine that we use our sommelier just the bean picked it for for today. But I like it. Okay, so where's mine? So and I gotta yours. have a floater too. I'm you holding it up here. And you, you can, can even take out one of those ice cubes. Just make it a little bit easier for you. Gotta level the surface. Okay, okay, I can handle this. This I can do. <laughs> and it's really, really easy. Okay, so I want to do it. Nice just give it a nice little uh, fill the spoon first and kind of let it pour over. Just okay. a little bit more. Yep, keep going. Just so it fills the top of it. And it kind of spills over just a little bit. Okay, now. And again, just dump it in there and top, top, and then get a nice little line. Great. Look at that. It looks beautiful. Now I'm ready to try it because <laughs> it's looking delectable. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. So, cheers. This is one amazing cocktail. Yeah. It's like the best of having a cocktail and having wine. So if you can't make up your mind between <laughs> wine and a cocktail, you should have the ratio. So thanks for having us. Cheers. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire. For the recipe, Q&A, photos, and more, visit BehindTheBurner.com.